Importing Excel data into Maximizer. The first thing I have to do is secure the rights to do an import. Then I want to check my Excel spreadsheet to make sure the data is ready for import. I will separate my Excel spreadsheet into two separate CSV files, one for contacts, one for companies and individuals. I'll make sure I've got enough fields in Maximizer to support the import. Then I will close my Excel sheets. I'll map my, map my Excel fields to uh, Maximizer, perform the import, and finally verify the imports in Maximizer. The Excel sheet that I'm going to use has got three companies, three contacts associated with those companies, and six individuals. I could have contacts associated with the individuals as well, but that's the subject of a different import video. When I come over here under State and Province, I'm going to change ALTA to AB for Alberta. I'm going to change N.Y. to NY for New York. And I'm going to change ONT to just ON for Ontario. This is symbolic of my checking all of my data to make sure it's consistent and accurate and complete. Once I'm satisfied, I will now perform two savings of this particular file. The first one I will save as is going to be my companies and my individuals because that's the first import that I will do. I will make sure that it's of the form CSV comma delimited and I'll click save. I can ignore the warning that the program offers me. The next save and it's the same sheet I'm going to save as my contacts and again it's in CSV again I save again I ignore that warning. Now I'm in my contacts Excel sheet, I'm going to delete my company entries and I'm going to delete my individual entries so that all I'm left with are my contacts which is consistent with what I'm working with. I'll click out of my Excel, I'll save it, I'll save and overwrite the field that I've got there already, I'll click through that warning again. This next one is going to be my companies and individuals. <clears throat> and as you might imagine, when I bring that up, all I'm going to do is delete my contacts from it because I've already got that list. So I'll delete these. I now have a list of companies and individuals. I click out of Excel. I save it. I overwrite the file that I've created there. Click out of my warning and I'm ready to actually do my import. The next thing I have to do, of course, is make sure that I've got the right. So I click Administration, Administrator, and I click Users. <clears throat> And I select the user who is going to be doing the import. I click Access Rights. I click Modify User Access Settings. And I make sure there's a check mark next to Allow Import. I save my settings. I save again. And I pop back over to my Maximizer database. I now hover on Import, Comma Separated Values. I browse to where I've got my values. And this time, I'm going to select, first of all, Companies plus Individuals. I'll click Open. The next screen asks me what kind of import I want to do. Well, I'm going to do companies and individuals. I'll import them all as leads, just for sake of argument. I'll deselect this so that NY is capital N and capital Y. I'll click Next. And now I've got to map the fields that are not pre-mapped for me. The first one is my phone, which is going to be phone 1. My next one is city, which strangely enough will be city. And then finally, state and province will be the uh, field in Maximizer that is state, county, and province. Against the possibility I might do this again, I'll catalog this. I'm going to add a catalog and I'm going to call it Companies and Individuals. Uh, and I'll make sure that I've actually spelled that properly and I'll save it. I'll click OK. I'll click Close and I'll click Next. I want to make sure that it's my email address that gets the advice about the import. I'll click Import, and in a matter of a few seconds, the program will do this for me. I'll go to View, Favorite Lists, and there's the import I've just done. I've got nine entries, which is what I expect. I'll retrieve it, and I'll see that I have got my three companies and my six individuals exactly what I anticipated getting. Now I'll go back to Import, Comma Separated Values. I'll click Browse. This time I'm going to select Contacts, click Open, go to my next screen, change this to Contacts, remove that checkbox for name case, I'll click Next, and again I'm going to map my fields. So my phone number once again will be Phone 1, <clears throat> my city field will be City and Town, and my state and province field will be state, county, and province as it was before. I have a ninth field. There's no value, so it's not going to be mapped. If I had additional user-defined fields, I would map them against their corresponding values in Maximizer as well. Again, I'm going to catalog this. I'm going to click Add, and this one is going to be Contacts. 
So if I perform the same import again, I'll already have that mapping done for me. I don't have to repeat it. If you have a lot of user-defined fields, that's a real time saver. My next step, again, is to make sure that it's my email address <clears throat> that is receiving notification of the import. I click Import. I give the program again a few seconds. I go up to View, Favorite List, and there's the one I'm after, three entries, I retrieve it, and I've got my three contacts exactly as I expect. That's how simple it is to perform an import of data from Excel into Maximizer.